Dear international students, welcome back to Full Scholarships. Today we are here with new opportunity for you and this time it's from Turkey. So it's a fully funded scholarship in Turkey and we will discuss about this scholarship for session 2022 and 2023. We will discuss about this Blakent, uh, Bilkent University Scholarship from Turkey and this is second highest ranked university in Turkey and this scholarship is for the bachelor's, master's and PhD degree programs. We will discuss how to start for this, how to register, how to sign up, how to fill a link in the email also. So before that, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please do subscribe to Full Scholarships. Our link is given in the scholarship link is given in the, this video description. And you can click the link of the Turkey scholarship in the YouTube video description. Also, you can follow us on Instagram. Our username is Full Scholarships. And link is also given in Instagram bio or you can just message us, drop a DM to us and we will send you the link. And so the best and the easiest way is to access the link from the YouTube. Check the video description, it's mentioned there. Once you land on this web page, clicking on the link in the video description, you can read about the details here. So this classes will start from the fall September 2022 and there is no application fee required so it's absolutely free to apply for this particular scholarship in this particular university so we will discuss about basic details from this blackened university scholarships 2022 so here is the university is host university is Kent university scholarship level is bachelor's master's and phd financial coverage is fully funded deadline is 10th of july 2022 so the university has the following durations for this scholarship bachelor's four years master's three years or two years and the phd scholarship four years so scholarship coverage bachelor master's phd grants are also given here and you can check different academic fields for undergraduate program faculty of art and design architecture faculty of business administration faculty of uh, economics and administration social service then the faculty of engineering and the faculty of humanities and letters faculty of science Faculty of Music and Performing Arts and the Faculty School of Applied Technology and Management. So after that, graduate programs. So Graduate School of Economics and Social Science. And you can check the many courses are listed here. Followed by the Graduate School of Education and Graduate School of Engineering Science. And the eligibility criteria is also mentioned here. So each country is eligible. And you can apply from any country. Then required documents are also mentioned here. So you need to have these documents and proof of degree if already obtained. So you don't if you do not have any degree right now, if you just have passed, then you need only submit the mark sheets or results. Then the last date for this particular opportunity is 10th of July. So this is a very important point. Deadline for this opportunity is 10th of July 2022. So you have almost uh, April, May, and June. So you have three months left to apply this scholarship four months left to apply for this particular scholarship so how to apply so there are two separate processes for undergraduate and graduate so the application portal application interface is absolutely same login portal is also same process is also same for both but just the information about education in is very varied from undergraduate to graduate so it's common that if you're applying for a gra under undergraduate scholarship then you need to upload the 10 plus and 12 10 plus 2 certificates and education details to apply for this course if you are applying for graduate then you need to add undergraduate education also so let's apply for the graduate scholarship as the process is also same for the undergraduate so click on this visit here whichever apply which chapter scholarship you want to apply for undergraduate or graduate so for demo purpose i am showing you this belkent university graduate scholarship i will be clicking on step 2 so click on this visit here link here so once i click on that application for graduate admissions will be here for the billicate university so i am zooming it out so that i can clearly see that and now new application is here so what you need to do is how to fill this new application so before that this type of page will appear in front of you so click on new application here so when you will click on new application you need to sign up so add the email address, add the password, create the password, enter first name, last name, and then the phone number, and then click on apply. When you do that, click on apply. Just, this is, this is just a registration process. And 
this confirmation email will be sent to your email so click on the link in the email and after that you will be redirected to this login page then use the same email and same password and then just click on login so once you click on login this type of portal this type of interface will appear in front of you now here you can check the exclamatory mark showing that you will be asked to upload a jpg format photograph transcript statement of purpose and other documents in pdf so please make sure you have these documents photo in these formats before the application so choose the education that you want to submit so i'll be going for the engineering and sciences so click on that link now we have the application form in front of us so now the first basic details choose the citizenship so just choose the country that you are from and it should be as per the passport then the date of birth as per your passport and this should not be incorrect as this will be verified once you will apply for the visa and the birthplace so you can enter the detail as per your passport so are you married or single choose that then choose the upload a photo so let me upload that photo first so i have uploaded a passport in a jpg and png format then if you have turkish id you can submit that however you can submit passport and if you have bilkit id you can submit that then applying to choose the department that you want to apply to so i'll be submitting the environmental sciences and let me check that if that is available here and so just material science and nanotechnology and you can check other courses out there also so you need to just check the course that the main family branch of that and the you, you can select the main branch then choose the sub branch so let me choose this computer engineering then select the program so i'll be applying for the masters and we accept fall application for fall 2022 and 2023 application semesters so then select the semester so i'll be selecting this then the interview date choose the interview date when you want to interview so i'll be appearing i'll be ready to appear for interview in the if you want quickly then you quick you can go for earliest date and if you want later then you can go for later so i'll be going for earliest and then the address choose the address that you had on your passport and the current address and followed by the telephone and alternate phone number so when you do that choose the email then the graduating high school so i'll be selecting high school so i'm just showing you the demo application please do not just copy paste these uh, details so then university so your undergraduate application so i am applying for the masters so how did you did your uh, how did you complete that uh, other university undergraduate process so i can select other so what is the name of that university so submit that so it's an indian university and the department is i'll be selecting that it is a uh, cs then latest cgpa what is my cgpa so it's 3.8 out of 4.0 and the then you can submit the expected or graduation date so month and year so i had already graduated and it's so then i'll be uploading a transcript in a pdf format here in a matter of seconds please wait now in the next screen we need to upload if you have any graduation details you can submit that but i had not any graduation details so if you have any of these examination scores you need to submit that and then submit the references so i'll be submitting sir so it's from the uni and the you can submit the details other details so it's from two then you need to then the email so you can submit that email and followed by the reference three and four then statement of purpose in english and that should be in a pdf format so let me upload that and then i want departmental scholarship select that i want turkey scholarship 
So whichever scholarship you want, just submit that. I want tuition fee only. I want uh, tuition only, tuition behavior. So you can select a monthly scholarship, this departmental scholarship. So this is a very important point. Select that. And before that, upload this file. And let me upload that. Okay, so let me upload that. Now choosing that, enter the research interest. So your area of interest, select that. So I'll be selecting CSC general and then the other details. Then upload the, uh, it's just upload your CV and extra information if you had. Then I declare and then click on apply. So it's a confirmation, select yes and okay. So our application will be, so the information that you provided are saved. So you can select okay and our application is now saved and we have if you have previously saved application forms you may edit them or apply to another department also so we can edit them and apply to other departments also so you can check our application is complete and it's sent so we can also check other confirmation email if there is any so here you can see your application is taken your application csms is taken you may go with the link and our application is successfully submitted for scholarship as well as admission so I hope you understood the process for the Turkey scholarship. If you still have any doubt, you can just comment down below the video or just message us. Before that, please do remember to subscribe and let's make this uh, help successful for each and every student. And before that, you need to subscribe and help us with that. And I hope you understood the process for this Turkey scholarship. And if still there is anything to left to us, Please do comment on the video and message us. And with this, I am signing off for full scholarships. Please subscribe. Have a nice day ahead.